If you like Carla Gugino, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. And we don't keep things here that have no purpose. You see your fight for survival? Starts right now. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. San Andreas 2015. Oh my god! <laughs> Where will you be and who will you be with you watch the world fall apart? This is the question this action-adventure drama asks its viewers. Directed by Brad Payton, the movie has received massive praise for its amazing visual effects and powerful performances. Starring Dwayne Johnson, Carlo Gugino, and Alexandra Daddario, the film trails a rescue chopper pilot as he journeys around the state with his estranged wife and attempts to rescue his daughter in the aftermath of a massive earthquake. Ready? Twist down, ready? Yep. Number 9. Sucker Punch 2011. Here, you got the information. You have won. This little fantasy of freedom is all they have. <laughs> Sucker Punch is a 2011 psychological fantasy action film directed by Zack Snyder and stars Emily Browning, Abby Cornish, Jenna Malone, Vanessa Hudgens, Carla Gugino, and Oscar Isaac. Director Snyder's Project of Heart is a movie as ambitious as purely stylish. Set in a horrifying mansion for insane people where women are treated like sex objects, young girls are seeking help in other worlds when carried away by their imagination. Thrown into a world of strength, monsters and war, the women maybe find an escape. It's far too late. You're suddenly not aware of what it is we do here? I teach them to survive. You. Number 8. The Space Between Us, 2017. You could have caused an atmospheric breach, not to mention died. Nobody rides unaccompanied, no matter who they are. The Space Between Us is a romantic science fiction film directed by Peter Chelsom and stars Gary Oldman, Asa Butterfield, Britt Robertson, and Carla Gugino. This modern sci-fi romance takes its title literally, with two young lovers being separated by the space between Earth and Mars. Young boy Gardner was raised as the first child on Mars and never met people on Earth. Following a dangerous attempt to get there, he experiences the beauty of nature and love for the first time. But a life-threatening danger is right behind him. How did you get past the electronic lock? Okay, that magnetic implant is there to monitor the growth of your organs, not serve as a pass key. And how did you even learn how to do that? Raised by scientists in a bubble. Number seven. Night at the Museum, 2006. Larry. I told you I wasn't making fun of you. I know. Night at the Museum is a fantasy comedy film directed by Sean Levy and stars Ben Stiller, Carla Gugino, Dick Van Dyke, Mickey Rooney, and Robin Williams. For some people, a daily life is an exciting experience where joy lurks around every corner. For some, a daily life means being stuck in a dull and boring routine that keeps you from adventure. But when a museum night guard must face the fact that at night all the exhibits of a museum come to real life, things change drastically. This is my friend Rebecca and Anna. Hi. And this is Sacagawea. Wea. 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 I think uh, she has a few questions she wants to ask you. You rock. I am a big fan. <laughs> Number 6. Gerald's Game, 2017. Wow, baby. You look amazing. Thanks. Gerald's Game is a psychological horror thriller film directed by Mike Flanagan and stars Carla Gugino and Bruce Greenwood. Leaving your soul shattered in awe and fear, this Stephen King adaptation leaves no brick unturned, while at the same time being subtle and quietly told. When on a vacation in the middle of nowhere, a sex game goes wrong. Jessie is tangled up on her bed with her husband dead on the floor. A fight for survival begins against the hunger, thirst, and insanity that slowly dissies her. I love this slip. 
Oh, good. I bought it special. I think I like it better up around your shoulders. <laughs> Number five. Match 2014. You dance? Me? No. Come on. Oh, no, really, I, I can't. Yeah, of course you can. Everybody can dance. Match is a drama film written and directed by Stephen Belber and stars Patrick Stewart, Carla Gugino, and Matthew Lillard. Exploring the nature of relationships and affection, Match follows a young married couple who research for a dissertation about dance in New York's 60s. But as they meet a Juilliard professor for interviews, it becomes increasingly clear that they feel more than just an opportunity for a good talk. But what ulterior motives form the triangle bond? Will you try? I don't think I can. Why not? If I let go, everything will break. Number four. The Lookout, 2007. Maybe we should talk about the women in your life. You mean besides you? Yeah. Is there anybody? The Lookout is a crime film written and directed by Scott Frank and stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Jeff Daniels, Carla Gugino, Matthew Good, and Isla Fisher. Combining a thrilling heist movie with themes of film noir and tragic backstory, The Lookout follows a star athlete with the word at his feet. But when a car crash leaves him brain damaged, his future crumbles in front of his eyes. Desperate for hope, he gives in to his buddies who plan to rob a bank. A one-way route to hell. I think about fucking you all the time. I don't think they quite heard that over by the door. I didn't mean it like that. I, I meant... I know what you meant. You think that's something you would have said before your injury? Number three. American Gangster 2007. When am I supposed to see my boy? This weekend, last weekend. American Gangster is a 2007 biographical crime film directed by Ridley Scott and stars Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Carla Gugino, and Josh Brolin. The movie is fictionally based on the criminal career of Frank Lucas, a gangster who smuggled heroin into the United States on American service planes returning from the Vietnam War. But it is also the story of a dedicated and honest policeman, Richie Roberts, who heads up a joint narcotics task force with the federal government, seeking the leaders of the dealers. I swear I will pull out my gun and put a bullet in your fucking head. Now stop what you're doing and pick up the glass. Calm down, man. Okay, be cool. Fucking crazy, man. You don't have a gun. Number two. Watchmen, 2009. What the hell are you doing here? You knew I was changing. Sure I did. Watchmen is a 2009 neo-noir superhero film directed by Zack Snyder and stars Malin Akerman, Billy Crudup, Matthew Good, Carla Gugino, Jackie Earl Haley, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Patrick Wilson. What if superheroes existed in the real world? What would change? Would they be shining idols or flawed human beings? These are the big questions of probably the darkest superhero movie yet. As the world is at its brink of collapse and masked vigilantes are hunted criminals, a group of ex-heroes goes on one last twisted mission. I said no, Eddie. No spelled Y-E-S. No spelled N-O. All right? Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Calm down, take a deep breath, how's your arm? Oh, it's fine, thanks. Uh, you're not gonna die on me? No. You can talk for a minute? Yeah. Okay. No, thank you. I'm gonna break your fucking face, you little bitch. Then his eyes really started to fill up. He really get dark, you know how he gets sort of rage in him. I thought he's gonna kill this guy. Really? We can't both leave. I wanna go on an adventure. I wanna save the world. Again, honey, it's old. I mean, if it wasn't for Danagong and the other agents, I, I, I would be turning this mission down myself. I mean, clearly. Number one. Sin City, 2005. Uh, don't worry, Lucille. I was just grazed. 
Got any beers around this place? Sin City is a 2005 neo-noir crime anthology film written and directed by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller and stars Jessica Alba, Benicio Del Toro, Brittany Murphy, Clive Owen, Mickey Rourke, Carla Gugino, Bruce Willis, and Elijah Wood. It's almost frightening how visually stunning and engaging this adaptation of Frank Miller's classic graphic novel is. Set in a modern noir gangster world, we follow several lost souls in the violent and heartless Sin City. Each of them has the same vision in mind, going down a path of rage, revenge, hate, and inhuman yet incredibly stylistic murder. She tried to analyze me once, but she got too scared. I haven't seen you like this in a while. You had a fight with some cops. Didn't happen to kill any of them, did you? Not that I know of. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.